call the member for Dunkley. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, it's been a heartwarming and exciting morning to be sitting in this chamber as part of a government that has introduced legislation that not only goes to fixing some of the big issues, both structural um, and cultural in this country, <laughs> but has also got a positive agenda for the future. We've seen this morning legislation for jobs and skills to address the problems that this country faces and the world faces with climate change and to help establish Australia as a renewable energy superpower, to fix the problems with aged care by implementing the recommendations of the Royal Commission, to get rid of the cashless welfare card, to make it easier for seniors to access the health care card and make medicines cheaper. And there is much more to come. What we know that the Albanese government will do is look to a better future for everyone across the country. And I'm incredibly proud that in my local community, in Dunkley, we've made a number of election commitments that we will deliver on which will improve the lives of people in my community. For example, we are going to establish a community battery in Carrum Downs, which will help 200 households have cheaper energy, but also play their part in reducing emissions. We have a number of local commitments which will mean that my community can access better health care. We've already delivered on the first one, which is to make the Frankston LGA a distribution priority area so we can attract more GPs and arrest the crisis in GP access. We will establish an urgent care clinic so that people don't have to wait at Frankston Hospital for eight, 10, 12 hours for a relatively minor injury to be addressed. And we will invest in the infrastructure that the First People's Health and welfare clinic needs to have their own state-of-the-art, up-to-date clinic and self-determination. We will invest in community infrastructure in Dunkley. We will invest in the Frankston and District Basketball Association Stadium so we can have a first-class stadium um, right in our community and we will also make sure that gymnastics has a home. We will invest in the upgrade of Emil Madsen Reserve for football, for netball, for soccer. Um, so that that community, particularly in Mount Eliza, have the facilities they deserve and they can be proud of. We will invest in the upgrade of Sandfield Reserve so it is a regional playground and community facility and the people in Carrum Downs and Skye and Frankston North will be able to go to a well-equipped, safe and beautiful community playground. We will invest in the Lang Warren Skate Park because that's what the local young people in Lang Warren want. They want a skate park that they can go and hang out with their mates in a safe and secure place and be proud of their community. We will invest in our local community centres where so much is done to increase the bonds between locals and to look after people who perhaps can't access services elsewhere. So Lang Warren and the Lyrebird Community Centre in Carrum Downs will have an investment from the Albanese Labor government into their childcare facilities and refurbishment of their infrastructure. An Albanese Labor government will invest in the culture of Dunkley, of which we are so proud of. Our local Indigenous gathering place, Nermanjambana, Jambana, we will invest in upgrading their infrastructure so that First Nations people and those of us who aren't First Nations people can interact in the oldest living civilisation on the planet in the spirit of reconciliation and the Uluru Statement from the Heart. We will invest in the Frankston Arts Trail, which will go from the magnificent McClellan Sculpture Park and Gallery through the Frankston wider area, including via Nermajambana, right up to our magnificent foreshore, so that locals can be um, invested in and part of our arts and culture in our community. And we will make sure that our local schools have the facilities they need. Mount Eliza Secondary College is a magnificent school with great teachers and students, but hasn't been upgraded essentially since I was born, which was a lot longer ago than I like to admit. Um, and we will invest in a new science, technology, um, engineering and maths centre 
and Patterson River Secondary College, which has a terrific program for students to be engaged in music. We will help them to buy musical instruments so that every child, no matter what their background is, can engage in learning music. They are just some of the things that an Albanese Labor government will do for my community of Frankston, in addition to those really important big picture reforms that we are all so proud to have the opportunity to be a part of, and I can't wait to see it happen.